What's good, YouTube? Your boy Bosco back again, and we got some sneaker updates that we need to talk about, including news on the Air Jordan 12 flu game. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the shoes, you dig? First, we have a late addition to the June retro lineup. We got the Air Jordan 5 grade school exclusive Miami Hurricanes dropping June 6th for a retail price of 140 bucks. This Miami Hurricanes Air Jordan 5 low has a color combination of football gray, brilliant orange, pine green. Of course, you have that representing the university color scheme. The shoe has the full leather upper with the water resistant overlays in football gray. Of course, you have the three and reflective details on the tongue. And where you see most of the color is the green and orange accents on the midsole, insole, and outsole really giving off that Miami Hurricanes vibe. Once again, these are gray school exclusive retailing for 140, but they do have them for PS for 100 bucks and Tyler's will be $85. As we know, Jordan Brand is gearing up for the 2024 Olympic Games with the release of the Air Jordan 4 and of course bringing back the iconic Air Jordan 6 Olympics that originally debuted in 2000. Now we have a new colorway on the Jordan 1 Zoom Comfort 2. These are releasing July for a retail price of 150 bucks. No exact retail date, but just look forward to these being online and in stores. They feature Midnight Navy, Varsity Red, Neutral Gray, and Summit White as the color scheme. I'm definitely not mad about this color combination. Let me know what you guys think about the Comfort 2s and do you like this colorway? Jordan Comfort 2s are kind of an acquired taste, but I do like some of the color bases that they do drop. Let me know if you have any of them in your collection. Next up, we get a sneak peek at an early collaboration between Nike SB Dunk and their skateboards. These look pretty interesting. They will drop during the fall of 2024 for a retail price of 135 bucks. Of course, this being an SB collab, you can expect this shoe to be made up of premium materials. These have a black base with suede overlays. Then you have embroidery in white, which really makes the shoe stand out. Official branding elements on the tongue label and heel tabs. I do like the color combination. I wanna see more. Other notable details include the black and green thick laces, a green mesh inner lining, tumbled leather swoosh logos, and of course, adorable rubber outfits. Also, give me your thoughts about these images that you're seeing and do you see yourself adding this to your collection for 135 bucks? Right around the corner is the release of the Air Jordan 17 Low Lightning, AKA All-Star, dropping May 30th for a retail price of 130 bucks. And to confirm, once again, these do come with the briefcase. A lot of people was iffy about that, wasn't sure, but they are coming with a briefcase. As you can see, they come in white, lightning, black, and chrome as the color scheme. These come with a white leather upper with a black dynamic fit inner sleeve for more supportive fit. Other details include the lightning accents and the chrome signature strip on the heels. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these. They have the lace up integrated for lockdown, full length shank plate, as well as the TPU heel stabilizer for support. Give me your thoughts about this Jordan 17 low classic. Do you see yourself picking it up for $300? or will this thing go on sale? Next up on the same day, May 30th for a retail price of 125 bucks, so a little easier on the pockets, we have a new colorway of the Jordan Tatum 2. And to be honest, this has to be my favorite colorway of the Tatum 2 so far. These come in blue void, leech blue, tropical twist, and bleach coral as a color combination. Kind of like an underwater vibe. I can't wait to see what these look like in hand. I like the color tone and I love the upper, the bleach watch canvas foundation. Definitely makes the shoe stand out. Let me know your honest thoughts and opinions. Only 125 bucks for them, so that's actually a great price point considering most of the basketball shoes out there are a little higher than that. Let me know if you guys are gonna add this particular Jordan Tatum 2 to your collection. Moving from one new silhouette to another, Jordan Brand introduces the Air Jordan 4 RM, an updated version of the classic silhouette. This release for the fall 2024 is set to drop for a retail price of 150 bucks for men, 120 for grade school, 75 for PS, and 55 in toddler size. This first colorway drops August 21st for that retail price of 150 bucks in the black, light bone, and dark gray color scheme. And there actually is a second colorway dropping pretty soon, the Canyon Rust, coming in sale, black, white, coconut milk, and Canyon Rust as the color scheme. With this shoe, Nike is changing direction from what Tinker Hatfield did with the original design. This rendition opts for more of a low top design, maintaining its same essence. They've upgraded the TPU overlay, extending to the heel. I'm curious to see what these actually look like in hand. Are you guys excited for this release? Next up, we got a little bit of disappointment. 
for some people. I mean, we got the Air Jordan 12 Bloodline dropping in January 2025 for the retail price of 200 bucks, but a lot of people thought we were getting these, the Jordan 12 Flu Games. Unfortunately, Jordan brand will be extending the Bloodline series and extending it to this Jordan 12. Let me know if you guys like this makeup of the shoe. And based on the mock-ups, you can see that this has an all black upper with textured leather. I'm sure the leather quality is gonna be good on here. Then of course you have the red accents that are on the branded areas. Give me your thoughts about this whole situation situation where you're looking forward to getting some flu games i know i was because i sold mine last time they came out and once i got word that they were coming in 2025 i was excited but now we get these bloodlines hopefully they live up to the hype one retro that i can expect people to be excited about in 2024 is the air jordan 5 black metallic this right here has been a timeless icon ever since the 90s embodied by michael jordan's on the court appearance now these drop in 2025, however, they will have a reimagined twist. Dropping during the spring of 2025 for a retail price of 210 bucks for men, 160 for grade school, 90 for preschool, and $75 for toddlers. Now, unlike most of the reimagines who done something totally different with the shoe, they've kept this reimagined kind of true to the OG form with a little bit of changes. These will come in that timeless black Nubuck upper. Of course, you have the white accents that grace the Nike Air branding on the heel tabs, metallic silver embellishments on the 3M reflective tongues and shark teeth, complemented by the black specks on the midsole. You have the variant touches of fire red on the Jumpman tongue and with the Air Jordan that's written upside down on the inside of the tongue. One thing that is slightly different is the 3M piping throughout the shoe and the white laces as well. And of course you have the netting on the side as well as the translucent rubber outsole. Let me know if you guys are going for this classic reimagine. I don't think they messed it up too bad at all. Give me your thoughts in the comments below. Next up, I wanna get into another classic retro, this Air Jordan 3, which is dropping August 31st for a retail price of 200 bucks, featuring Summit White, Fire Red, Cement Gray, and Black as the color scheme. This Jordan 3 Cement Gray features a white tumbled leather base with the red accents throughout the shoe on the Jordan iconic logos, as well as the tongue. Black covers the heel tabs. Of course, you have the Cement Gray embellishments on the eyelids, inner lining, and sections of the midsole. Of course, you can never forget the elephant print on the Jordan 3. These shoes are definitely not bad. That Jordan 3 elephant print is classic as you see on the eye stay, toe, and heel overlay. Let me know if this is something that you guys are interested in. The white midsole over the air unit. We have the gray rubber outsole. Definitely not a bad Jordan 3. Next, I want to talk about the latest addition to the spring 2025 Jordan retro releases. We got the Air Jordan 1 high patent leather coming in a black and white colorway. Of course, people would be calling these the patent pandas. Now these will retail for $180 for men, $140 for grade school, $85 for preschool, and $70 for toddler sizing. These will come with some premium patent leather materials. As you can see, it has the white leather base with the black overlays. You can see the white collar and white toe box, which I definitely think makes the shoe stand out a lot. Lace swapping, they come with black laces. I think that might be fine. White laces might be a little too much, but you know, you do what you like to do with the shoe. I'm a fan of this colorway. The fact that it's black and white with the patent leather is just upgrading a little bit. I can see people wearing these with some slacks or suits and wearing them out for casually. I'm looking forward to seeing these guys in 2025. How about you? I know it's another black and white shoe, very similar to what we had before, but the fact that they add the patent leather is kind of intriguing me just a little bit more. And the fact that it's still only 180, it's a steal. So let me know your thoughts and opinions about the shoes you've seen in this video. We got some classics. Unfortunately, the flu games are not coming out this year, but hopefully those bloodlines suffice. Give me your thoughts about everything you've seen in this video, anything that you're really looking forward to adding to your collection. Hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, check out one of these videos popping up on the screen. Let me some feedback and make sure you guys hit that like button. Deuces.